Tonight, there's a group digging deep investigating cattle mutilations. They're the crew from Reality TV's Paranormal Mysteries. We're here in the San Luis Valley today with the crew for PM who are giving their fans an unprecedented look at the world of paranormal investigations. Yeah, so, uh, that was pretty good, pretty good take. Andrea, hey, I was, uh, was kind of wondering if you wanted to, uh, I don't know, grab some dinner. I know this uh, guy, he owns a restaurant, it's pretty fancy. Huge waiting list, but, uh, you know, I know he'll get us in. <sighs> yeah, I probably shouldn't say that, that's, that's lame. Yeah, I'm not going to say that. There is an intruder in my house. I'm gonna find it and kill it. Ah, there you are. Just stay still. Just stay still. This right here is a cameraman's best friend. It's a camera. Matt, what's up, brother? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm testing it out right now. Well, for the most part, it's a piece of shit, but, you know, whatever. Oh, oops. Lesson learned. We're videotaping each other. We're videotaping. Hi. That, that's a backhand way of... <laughs> Not only am I a host of a television show called Paranormal Mysteries, <laughs> I go out of my way to dry my crew's pants when they get wet. <laughs> I think it's really it's fucking good sure. to deal with. I could yeah. probably do fucking it. Fucking amateurs, every single one of them. This is, this is the, so the highway one right now is the, it's going to be called the UFO highway. Because more people see UFOs a year on this road than anywhere else. In the world. What time is there? My name is Mike Miller. I'm the former executive producer of Paranormal Mysteries. I was the development director for the American Learning Channel. There's a reality behind reality TV. Everything's on budget, both time and money. Uh, the situation rooms, those are shot months in advance. Our show format was incredibly simple. We had used the situation room footage to set up this mystery. And the mystery then has to get solved in three days. The CBI and FBI filed reports in the 70s. Both concluded that the mutilation phenomenon is a result of natural predators. Matt, nighttime surveillance. You know, I like the evil aliens idea, but I'm looking for more natural causes, predators and such. I say we wire up as many trap cams as possible. I like it. You guys know what to do. It's the old ticking clock. How was Paranormal Mysteries different from other paranormal reality shows? It didn't take you long to figure it out if you watched the show, right? Everybody else has a bunch of geeks chasing ghosts, and I saw nothing wrong with putting some good-looking people on the screen. They're the circus act of, of these shows. They really are. Oh, those guys were morons. All they wanted was their time, and then um, obviously they had a predetermined ending to the show. As soon as it started getting a lot of attention, the producers started going, we need to keep the fan base going. You guys need to have stuff happen every episode. They started faking things. And action. F some Dude, look, some just scratched me. They started faking things to make sure that those paychecks would continue and the ratings would continue. And all of a sudden you go from you're the, you're the star of the show to you're the executive producer, producer. of the show. 
Enter Rob Parks. Completely willing to take the show to places I would not. What's my one rule? Producer Rob Parks and his crew have been charged with fraud, trespassing, and the unlawful destruction of a domesticated animal. Those are the charges that I'm investigating. Have I seen footage? Sure. All right, Mike. What do you think about the footage then? We think they've staged it elaborately. We think that they've done it for their own fiscal benefit. Me and my family, and I'm sure the other families involved, we're just looking for the truth. I think this is nothing more than a well-scripted hoax, but it's well-scripted. I've seen a lot of footage. It's what I do. But this footage shows some of my very good friends, and it shows that I'm never going to see them again. I'm Special Agent James Richardson, and I work for the Bureau of Land Management. Uh, our mission is to sustain the health, productivity, and diversity of America's public lands for the use and enjoyment of present and future generations. We want to make sure that everybody is there with a permit, that uh, they are known that they are there, um, but we just make sure that the, the land is not abused and that it's used exactly as it was set out to be used, and that's for uh, grazing livestock, ultimately. You can also go on to these lands with a liaison. You can gain access with a liaison um, during open hours, of course. If she's gonna be with us the whole time, keep filming, get her in the episode. Like a government conspiracy type exactly. angle? You know, big brother type. Got it. All right. I'll, get, I'll grab it. All right. Ranger Rose Montoya? Rob Parks, nice to meet you. Nice Finally. To meet you too. Yeah, it's nice to talk in person. <laughs> exactly. She's been assigned as our official liaison for the entire shoot. Let's stop filming for now, please. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, awesome, this looks great, thank you. I'll just stop filming. All right. This place is unique. Now I'm curious if whether or not some of these geographical distinctions have, have had a factor with the mutilations. So, I was thinking, I gotta do the setup myself. Oh, it sucks with Eric in the piece. Look, I know, that's what I've been trying to tell Rob, but he just won't have it any other way. I don't know what to tell you. Look, I'll make you a deal. Okay. You keep doing what you're doing, and I'll make you look perfect. All right? Okay. I mean, come on. It's not like I have to try very hard, right? Thank you, Dave. We're here in San Luis Valley, where a spike in counter mutilations occurs every spring. Speculation ranges from predators and cults to extraterrestrials and even covert government activity. We're here to solve this paranormal, paranormal mystery. mystery. The San Luis Valley became the epicenter of the mutilation phenomenon in 1967. 67, the first case that was documented out here in Colorado, no one's ever been caught, tried, or convicted. They've estimated 10 to 15,000 mutilations in this valley in northern New Mexico since the 60s. My guess is that the PM crew went down there and they did what we always did. They set up the interviews, they found the skeptics and the believers, they talked to the authorities. It's pretty easy work. Hey, can we try this with just Andrea? It's a little windy and I don't want this interview to get jumbled. Rob? So, how exactly are they connected with UFOs? Our official position points to predators. Well, what predators exactly? Cougars, maybe coyotes. Coyotes? Coyotes with a scalpel. <laughs> In the end, the interviews, they're just about capturing sound bites. It's them Army Fort NORAD. Every time I see one of them black helicopters fly over my property, I know I'm going to have another cow that's mutilated or just gone. And then you've got to find a chief contact. Anytime, Emmy boy. Big sky boy, you douchebag. <clears throat> Action. We're here in. Is it? We're Keep at the. Going. Keep it going. Okay. 
<clears throat> Action. We're here at the Foster Ranch in Antonito, Colorado for our initial contact interview with Joe Foster, the victim of seven mutilations. Mr. Foster claims mutilations mostly happen at night on his land that border the public grazing lands. And mostly they happen at night. Mostly. <laughs> Our is highly regulated. <laughs> Surveil the Commons from here. <laughs> and continue. Surveil the Commons. I've never seen a UFO. And if it's a cult, where's the tracks? If it's a predator, where's the carnage? What's that trespassing sign, Mr. Oh, that, that's the BLM. Uh, you, you don't want to go in there, they'll arrest your ass. <laughs> this is where the last one happened. Bear, why don't you grab a soil sample? I'll scan the area with the Geiger counter. Okay. Are you getting anything? Yep. Especially right here. Oh, I just got up and she was here in the morning. Yeah? Sliced up? Well, I won't exactly say sliced up. But messed up. Uh. Very messed up. That's perfect. We'll take this back to the lab and run it for any unusual toxins, readings, radiation. Now we'll have overhead surveillance on the barn and the corral. What's with the uh, cow? Uh, bait. No predator will get in here without us knowing about it. Look at this. Hey Rose, what's up? What are you uh what are you reading there? Ah, the bastards of landed. Yeah. That's a great, great book. I didn't think the series could get any better. I don't mean either. I can't put it down. <laughs> I know, it's great. I know. <laughs> Is our camera boy boring you with some Star Wars factoids or something? Maybe I was boring him. It's a thick book. Sorry about that. You know, we could have grilled that cattle inspector a little bit more. He's a public official. He has to disclose the record. Oh, is that right, Dave? You know the formula? Come on, man. Point, counterpoint, believer, skeptic. Surveillance and a big reveal. Yeah, Dave, so I'm trying to make a job harder. You said harder. This is the San Luis Valley. These are our digs. It's a pretty nice place, pretty rustic. What do we got here? Settings that I uh, try to get used to, and I uh, was just doing some test shots. Well, instead of working on that, why don't you work on grabbing me an Indian? You know, Dave, I like voyeurism too. This one time oh, back what? in college, I had it on, Matt. <laughs> Diary, June 1st, 2010. I flew into Colorado Springs, just did some interviews. It's actually pretty boring, actually. This, this is the exciting part. Andrea has decided she wants to sleep in one of my beds. Now my room has two beds, right? She wants to sleep in one of them. She wants to like, she wants to be in the same room with me, basically. I don't know, she's just been dropping these like really subtle hints. Always joking around and laughing. And I've kind of seen this coming. I talked on the plane the whole way here. She's got great ideas for the show, you know, so, you know, she's always throwing those past me. I'm going to ask her out tomorrow, you know? I mean, we probably won't do anything here. We're on work, you know, we're working, but I don't know. Maybe catch a symphony when we get back to L.A.? She probably doesn't like the symphony. Maybe a pink concert? I'm going to ask her out tomorrow.
maybe not like breakfast. Breakfast is a little soon, you know. Maybe I'll wait until maybe. All right, that's enough. If you read the small print on most of these shows, it, it they're, they're called it docu soap. Good reality TV films conflict between people, so there was real life going on. It, it's dramatized. It's uh, it's scripted. This is not a reality TV show. You know, they call it a reality TV show, but in, in essence, it's not. Paranormal Mysteries is a show about ghosts and Bigfoot, and of course it's produced and scripted. Dave told me all about that. There's one small thing that's actually a really big thing, is they use, <laughs> they use uh, either music or um, sound effects uh, at moments that doesn't require it to build drama. Dave behind you! Yeah. And if they continue to show that kind of thing, all they've got left is the drama between the characters. But he wouldn't fake this. I know Dave, this is not a hoax. He wouldn't be a part of anything like that. We understood that the reason that people watch TV is so they can see themselves. And they want to see the interaction between each other. So Matt just wasn't responsible for the nighttime footage. He was also responsible to catch the drama as well. Some of it we would encourage or script when we were running the show. But this whole thing wasn't scripted. What? We're shooting like an hour. What are you doing, man? Sorry, man. She's reading for a part. I think she'll be good for it. We, we fell asleep, dude. We fell asleep. Yeah. We were reading for a part. You guys sure do film everything. No, you... No, it's true. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You know, friends can say this to one another. I told you so. She's an L.A. girl, for Christ's sake. L.A. girl, what does that even mean? You know what that means, man. Come on. If it makes you feel any better, I heard she did more than softcore that song. It does, you know, it doesn't make me feel better. Stop trying to cheer me up. You're horrible at it. <laughs> We're here at Adams State College, where experts have been investigating cow- Hold on, sorry, hold on. Let me reframe. Come on, man. Just... You want to look good, don't you? I, I don't, I, I do. Okay. <clears throat> you just do your job. All right, go ahead. <clears throat> We're here at Adams State College, where experts have been investigating cat. Are you are you serious? You think you would have fucking know how to know how to do this by now? Why would the hostility, man? You know what? Yeah, hold on. If you grew a set of balls, asked a girl out, you wouldn't be the guy that gets a girl stolen from it. And you wouldn't be so moody there, pumpkin. You guys gonna make out? Hey, just remember what I said. <clears throat> We're here at Adams State College, where experts have been investigating counter mutilations for years. Matt, please do not stand there. Your shadow is in my shot. You're cheery. Sorry. <laughs> it's got to be usable. We've got to get this on film. We've got to make it work. Can you guys do it? Of course. Yeah. Excellent. Done and faster we're done with faster we're done. Um, I need you to go into town and interview some talking head, Juan Zamora. All right. So you're going to have a liaison. Rose, will you please be his liaison? We've got Claire's segment. We'll be with Dr. Nelson. We're doing this by the book, remember? All right. All right, here we go. Good. Let's get it done. Good. All right, here we go. Dave. Listen, I need you to get that nut job to say some real creepy shit. OK. Done? Sure. Yeah. All right. Done. Like Hello, Mr. Zamora. I'm uh, Dave Freeman with PM. Dave, how are you? Going to be filming you today. Okay. Uh, is there a good place that we can set up and see the interview? Sure. Uh, I've got a good gazebo in the backyard. Hey Rose, do you mind sitting in for one while I test the lighting and the, sure. the sound and all that stuff? Yep. That'd be great, thank you. I'm just gonna tape this on to you temporarily. So what's the rest of your crew up to? Well, Claire is kind of the Velma of the group. She's gonna interview the scientists and the experts. Rob's a shooter. 
Eric and Andrea, they're out uh, getting the local perspective. Hopefully, Eric is not being his charming self. Go home. Get up our property. And are you guys still planning on doing that night shoot? Oh, yeah. It's kind of the climax of the whole show. Brings it together. Do you mind saying something into your mic so I can test the levels? Sure. What do you want me to say? It was so cool. Like, I went a bunch of cool places, ate a lot of food, threw up a lot. <laughs> Some of that stuff you're not supposed to eat, I found out. I uh, read it later when I got back. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I got tons of stories. I mean, I, would you... Yeah, you I'd love to hear them. Well, we're interviewing this guy, a uh, bartender down at this bar. Um, and uh, we're just going to hang out afterwards. And you should come by if you um, aren't doing any... BLMing. Would you mind stating your name and where you're from? My name is Juan Zamora and I'm from the uh, San Luis Valley in Colorado. Uh, Rob Parks approached me uh, because I was trying to promote my book. Uh, he was looking to uh, pay me to perform. Uh, I'm not saying he wasn't nice about it, uh, but he just was not uh, interested in the truth. The uh, uh, photographer, Dave, he was a pretty nice guy. He was genuinely interested in what I had to say and, 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 and he believed me. So tell me about where the UFO crashed. Dave, the UFO crashed on August 9th, 1967 on the commons in the old town of Ortega. Even though I was young, I still remember. My father was a policeman in the valley. Uh, one day uh, I was riding with him and we saw something flash across the sky. It, it, it looked like a silver cigar. A few minutes after that, there was a radio call, and, and, and the radio said something about a, a fire in the Ortega pasture. When we got there, it was obviously a, some kind of crash site. There was smoke, and then there was debris. There was this metal, looked like airplane metal, but it was more silvery than, than airplanes. And then there was a smell of chemicals, uh, and it smelled like ammonia. And then, and then I saw it and it had these long predator-like appendages, something like a praying mantis. The closer I looked, I could tell that it was in pain. Its skin was burnt or burning, just like an alien sun would burn your skin. And, uh, and, and then it looked like it was coming toward me. And then the helicopters came. And you're certain that the government has had a hand in the mutilation phenomena? Absolutely, the government knows everything. They control everything. They set up a quarantine zone in the valley. They came in and, and uh, they took the Ortega pasture and turned it into regulated grazing lands. This place is dangerous and has been dangerous ever since. There have been thousands of cattle mutilations during this whole time. Why do you think, why do you think they mutilate in this valley? What's the point of the mutilations? They, they mutilate in order to sustain themselves. Brothers, sisters, how many? I have tons of brothers and sisters. I have a huge family. Really? That was great work <coughs> on the shot. Andrew. Thanks. I mean, you're fucking lying. I do know my lines, man. I mean, I need a close-up. Well, I went to NYU, and it was amazing. It was a great experience. I'd love to go back someday. You know, hopefully it'll work out. Well, why? What was the reasoning? Why did you go? Uh, why did you go to New York to begin with? Not even that, it's the professionalism. What is that supposed to mean? What is that? Cows, cows. I should probably sit up front, you guys. I could probably get us out of this. You can't fuck your way out of a ticket. I'm gonna try to fuck Both of you ticket. shut up. <clears throat> Howdy there, Sheriff. Got a few calls that your uh, crew has been harassing some people out here. Where are you guys from? We're from L.A. No, I would have guessed that. Consider this your one and only warning. Not everybody out here wants to talk to you. Sheriff, since we got you here, we just recently learned that there hasn't been a conviction related to cattle mutilations in over 40 years. Care to comment for the record? No. By the way, be careful on these old dirt roads. 
people out here consider stop signs optional, they're not. Uh, thank you, <clears throat> sir. a little bit more information on what you think you saw. Absolutely. They come out of the mountains. That's one time I was at my uncle's ranch and we saw these lights over the field and I swear to God, the next day, one of his cows was sliced up. I've never seen anything like it. And you're convinced it's extraterrestrial? Definitely. No question. What else could it be? What else could, what else could do that? We're in over our heads. Maybe the government's involved. Why would the government be involved? That makes no sense. No, but they have to know something, right? And cut. Matt, strike the lights. I've discovered the cause of the mutilations. The beast is awful. Just awful. Stop your spine. Come on, spine? Dave? A pretty girl? Having fun? This is truly a paranormal mystery. Everybody get some rest tonight. Long day tomorrow. Rose. <laughs> Rose, hey. Sorry, what? Cigarettes. We're gonna get them. Uh, gas station off of road 13. 13, thank you. Matt, let's go. Yeah, 13, go. I'm going too. I don't recall inviting you. Is this... Where the fuck are we? Man, I don't know. GPS, GPS has been out the whole... No, it's It doesn't fucking out. work. I don't have cigarettes. Wait, what kind of cigarettes did We're you get? We're getting cigarettes. Well, she didn't tell us to come out here and set up cameras. I told you to <laughs> film everything. Yeah. You don't have to film everything. You almost done? Yep, two seconds. This is the last one, right? Yeah, I got it. Four cameras total, wirelessly linked to the G-Ray. We got two terabytes of memory. We're good. I don't know what the fuck that means, but it sounds good. It is good. <laughs> the fuck was that? The fu was that you? That wasn't me, dude. Dude, let's get the fuck out of here. Today is June 2nd, 2010. Uh, day started off kind of rough, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I kind of had a thing for Andrea, I thought she had a thing for me. Whatever. Here's, uh, here's just some things that uh, I learned today. One, people down here really do believe there are aliens and that they mutilate cows. That's a fact. Uh, Eric, Eric's still a prick. Green chili, green chili is really freaking hot down here. I guess BLM agents are hot. At least the one I've met and I'm kind of into. We did all our interview stuff and then kind of met her at the local watering hole and we just talked and went for a walk and I don't know, she's just kind of amazing. If we had kids, we'd probably be really cute. That's all I got to say. Um, yeah, I'll talk at you later. Tomorrow maybe. Probably. Hi. I started. About 10 minutes ago, the herd was moving pretty quickly. They've got to be getting in through the government lands. I've I haven't seen any other signs of 
And anyway, I could. Son of a bitch. Livestock mutilations have always been a part of human civilization. There used to be three theories why animals are mutilated, the natural predators, government, the aliens, extraterrestrials. Some people think it's extraterrestrial. From the time we'd moved here, all I heard were UFO stories from the locals. We went over to the ranch and discovered one of our young bulls. It was lying on the road dead. It was as though all the bones in it had been shattered as though it had been dropped from a large height. The uh, horses and the cows are very intact. No claw marks, no bite marks. The cuts on the head are basically always the same. Her udder had been removed. Chest cavity just opened up. A part of the brain was gone. Her ears had been removed. The tongue was gone. Where the lungs should be, it's gone. Eyes were gone. Thyroid gland. And her lips had been cut away. Where organs should be, they're gone. Everything's completely missing. And the oddest thing of all is there was no blood. Yet there's no blood staining on the ground. I'm gonna ride with Rose, I'll meet you guys there. You can find family together, right? Yeah, man, all right, cool. Yo, hey, this is Rob from LA. I don't know if you remember me. I gave you about $10,000 worth of equipment that I'd like to go ahead and get back. Um, otherwise, I'm going to have to shove it up your country bumpkin ass. Does that sound okay? Rose. A word. Hey, Dave, I can't get you on the phone. Go ahead and go with Matt and see if Joe's here. Oh, what happened between you and Rose last night? Joe, it's the PM crew! Uh, nothing, man. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on, what happened? All right. What happened with you and Rob last night? What are you guys up to? Joe! Mr. Foster, you know? Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey Dave, something's up. Come on, man. Hey guys, we couldn't find him. <laughs> it's out of my hands, Rob. There's nothing I can do. We'd have to put in a formal request, and the bosses don't budge on this stuff. A request for what? I suggested that we camp out on the commons. Rose, is there anything we can do? Not on the commons. Is there anything nearby, anywhere we can survey the, um, the commons above? There's a road between the commons and here. You know, a road that accesses the river. It's BLM land, but the restrictions are minimal. Yes. Perfect. Thank you, Rose. Perfect. You guys Rose. have until midnight. I can officially escort you until then without breaking any laws. You're saving the show. base camp that doesn't look like the Blair Witch Project. Alright, come on Matt. You rolling? 
We got tactical smart missiles, phase plasma pulse rifles, RPGs, sonic electronic ball Can breakers. We start? <laughs> Mutilations are often associated with radiation, and so we have a Geiger counter and a soil sample kit. And in addition, we also. It, you don't even know your lines. If it's a local predator, we'll take plaster molds of any potential tracks. My name is Dr. Andrew King. Most of my writing, most of my work, focuses on extraterrestrial animals, and that is a field known as astrobiology. Dr. King, what is your evaluation of the investigation? Well, they were barely investigating. I saw the footage. Frankly, it was like watching a soap opera. This is perfect. The old calm before the storm footage. Just an interview with a hot chick, and I think we have a show. Let's try something a little different. What do you mean? Uh, whoa, hey. <laughs> have you ever used one of those things before? <laughs> careful, careful. It can't be that hard. You got it. <laughs> All right. You look so nice in the sunset. Yeah, well, it's beautiful <laughs> out here. <laughs> so, okay, don't think I'm crazy, but I have to ask you a question. <laughs> That sounds interesting. Go ahead. So, I watched one of your episodes online last night when I got home. Really? Were you making a new fan? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't go that far, but... You know that episode you shot in Scotland? Yeah, the uh, Haunted Castle. How could I forget? Yeah, yeah. Did you really see a ghost? Uh, you know, I should probably take that back. Aw, come on! Now yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta get back. Uh, besides, I, I really don't want you thinking I'm crazy. All right, fine. I'll give you a lift. Right. Is she gonna be here all night? I don't wanna get lice. Are you sure? They might befriend your crabs. The cows, the cows, the cows. Which one of you will get it first? Will it be you, or you, or you? Locked and loaded, here we go. Pam is here in San Luis Valley to catch a glimpse of what's been mutilating cattle here for over 40 years. These commons are vast public grazing lands with thousands of heads of cattle. Local officials point towards natural predators. The townsfolk look towards military and government sponsored activities. The ranchers, they look to UFOs. Whether the culprit comes from Sky or Land, Pam is here to solve this paranormal, paranormal mystery. mystery. The Commons, or La Vega, as the locals call it, is considered an evil place. Uh, since the uh, Ortega incident in 1968, where local law enforcement came upon a supposed crashed UFO, San Luis Valley, has been called Area 52. The government has been doing a good job of maintaining this quarantine zone. There's a reason they keep people out of there and put cattle on there. Going into the commons is like walking into a minefield. Finally, Jesus Christ. Hey, Rose. Uh, Rose, where are you? Rose? Ha! God! <laughs> Jeez! God! Oh, you couldn't sneak up on a torch. Fuck, I wasn't trying to. <laughs> Good God. What's up? What are you doing? Nothing. I just thought, you know, it's dark and scary. I thought you might want to, you know, <laughs> hang what out. I heard it too. Oh, God. What are you doing? 
I'm hanging out. What are you doing? I'm coming to get you for my scene. <sighs> Fine. Fine. I'll be right back. Famous last words. Remember, you guys only have an hour. What are you thinking, Dave? A little roll in the hay with the cowgirl? What's going on? We spotted abnormal lights appearing and disappearing over the commons. Really? Yeah. All right. Claire, you're on sound. Take the parabolic. Eric and Dave, you're on camera. Andrea, you're on the gallery counter. I'm staying back to monitor the situation. You're going out on the commons. Let's go. I'm getting something on the parabolic. The stream? Well, I thought it was coming from the trees, but I think you're right. Well, you guys know that uh, mutilations are normally associated with bodies of water. Whatever it is, parabolic. No lights. It's a natural predator. We'll scare it off. It is a natural predator. We already scared it off. Our instincts have brought us here. It's important to be patient. It's 11.50 p.m., and after abnormal motion was detected at camera post 4, we came out here immediately. I'm afraid we scared off the culprit. This doesn't feel right, guys. Maybe we should go back to camp. Let's wait here for a bit. Unfortunately, we haven't seen any evidence of predators. The only human activity out here is us. Oh my god, what is that? Sh shut up! Where? Come on! Oh my god. Not the spotlight, we're closing it. Whatever it is, it's silent. Dude, those lights are off the ground. Did you see that? It was just hovering on the ground. There's no sound at all. You also heard words. If you ever was leaving a black space in the sky, whatever I saw was huge. Look, this is gonna sound really weird, but I got this otherworldly premonition, unlike anything I've ever felt Guys, before. Stop. It's like something is trying to connect Guys, me. Shut up, stop. Oh, what? Hey, I'm getting something. Really? Yeah, really. Is that thing even work? It's footsteps. Probably Rob. Get away from there! What the hell? Great night to fly a kite, huh? I'm about to bring your UFO back so we can get more light. Rose, listen. Come on, Rose, it wasn't all a hoax. We needed something for a finish. Yeah, it's not like we're gonna find a chupacabra or a mutilated cow out there somewhere. I don't wanna hear it. Bitch. Rose, wait! Don't leave a remnant of your presence! All the cameras do! Get them down or I'll give you a ticket for littering! What is she even doing here? What a day spilled the beans. Look, it was a stupid idea in the first place, okay? Anyone for 10 miles can see these shitty lights. I bet if we would've just waited, we could've seen something. Stop! You're giving me a freaking migraine. She really has gold on that. Rose, listen. It wasn't all a hoax. Come on, Dave. I thought you guys were smarter than this. What are you gonna do? It's what you're gonna do. You're gonna help your crew pack up. You're gonna get out of my county. Rose. Rose! Get the camera's packed up. Take them down. We don't want to get anything confiscated. Claire, what are you doing? Nothing. Let's go. What is that noise? It's the stupid Geiger counter. Rose! Listen! 
Rose, would you just hold on a second, please? No, Jesus. Matt! Matt! Get over here! Now! Get over here now! Oh, shit. I do. I, I don't have reception though. You guys, listen to me. This is what we've been looking for. This is physical evidence. We can salvage the episode. Let's do our job. Keep shooting, guys. We gotta document the site. Do you know cow poaching is a felony, Rob? Please tell me you didn't, Rob. I, I didn't, dude. Seriously. Come on, level with me. Did I you have anything to do I, with this I cow? I didn't. Listen, I didn't, I didn't do anything to this cow. I mean, what do you think we've been doing out here? Trying to look for a roast chuck? No. We've been looking for a mutilated cow when we found one. We have no idea what this cow is exposed to. <laughs> okay, listen. Best case scenario, it's someone messing with us. No person did that. Yeah? Well, then it's a nocturnal predator. You guys, we have to go. Fuck it, let's go. You sold no. me. No, 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 wait, 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 guys, come on. This is gonna give us more exposure than we've ever had before. This is real. Dave. No, no, man, no. Really, Dave? Come on, Claire. Matt. Hell no. Eric. You said Sons of Anarchy Park goodbye. Come on. You guys, come on, only take a minute. There she is. That's my star right there. The rest of you, fuck off. Dave, listen. No. Staying isn't an option. Everyone, let's go. <sighs> Nothing's over. Nothing's over. You'll be hearing from my lawyers. I will be talking to your boss. They explain that there is a tradition of UFO sightings connected to cattle mutilations. Obviously, they wanted to impose their reveal onto something that is a genuinely dangerous phenomenon. Look, I have no problem calling these kids charlatans, frauds, amateurs, even just actors. But that was before they encountered this unknown predator. Now, I have nothing but sympathy and care for these kids, for the deceased and the missing and their families. Any unusual readings? Well, look, I have your counter spiking. Rob, should I do a monologue? Yeah. <clears throat> we have a classic mutilation on our hands. There are surgical cuts on the cow's abdomen. Vital organs have been removed. The mandible's been exposed. There's broken bones suggesting it was dropped from the sky, completely drained of blood. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm gonna take a cell sample to indicate whether or not the cow is mutilated post-mortem. Okay, cut, let's go. <sighs> what is that? What? Oh, not that son of a bitch. <laughs> he put a camera over here in the tree. 
Keep those lights running so we can see anything coming. What, like Toothless Joe Bob? What else has to happen for you to believe that there's somebody out here? If there's anything out here, it's a natural predator. If it's anyone, it's Joe Foster. Some fire me. <laughs> you know what? We just won the lottery. Oh. Rob, can we go? Not you two, Andrea. There's nothing. <laughs> Was that Rob? What? What happened? Stay right here. Andrea! Rob, where are you? Rob! Where are you? Andrea! Andrea, what happened? What did you see? Come on. Come on. Andrea, you're Rob, okay. No, you're okay. Rob, Rob, stay What happened? What happened? What? That's like methane. <laughs> no, you gotta get out of here. You gotta get, <laughs> you, get you to the hospital. <laughs> Fuck! Rob's got the keys. <laughs> Fuck, you're sick. Andrea, come on! Andrea, come on! Sorry, but we gotta go. Let's move! 
Off. Yeah, let me help you with that. Hey, oh, Matt! Matt, you're not Why did you do that? You sack of shit. Matt, when I was logging the footage, one of the doctors said it uses some kind of neurotoxin. Fuck, did you hear that? What? You guys, That's it's from... coming. Let's go. We gotta get out of the woods and off the road. Come on. The footage was distorted when the creature was near. Now, during the mutilation investigation, there were high levels of radiation that were detected, and that can cause distortion in camera and audio equipment. Andrew Keys. Are they in there? You guys, you guys, there's a truck in the barn. Let's go. Stay close. No keys. Maybe there's a spare in the house. Oh, please take these off. Alright, don't make me regret this. I won't, I won't. Oh. oh, fuck, is that Joe? Is that Mr. Foster? Shit, that's Mr. Foster. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? Is he dead? Uh, Rose, uh, can you hand me something, please? Anything. Here. Be careful. No keys. Looks like you got off the rounds. You know what I mean, that thing? Another thing my dad taught me. Babe. Still works. Guys, Still let's get works. the fuck out of here. Andrew, guys. She must have gone to that house. It's still alive. It's still out here. Let's go. Come on, guys. Come on. Get in there. The door's locked. God damn it. Andrew, open the door. God damn it. Please let us in. Break it in. Just break it in. 
torn apart. said Claire was sick. She, she wasn't Claire anymore, man. It was, I think she got sprayed with something. I think it got on me, man. Fuck, man. I think you're getting sick like Claire, guys. You don't know that. You don't know that. Fuck. Guys, I'm so cold, man. I can't stop shivering, man. Something's not ready. It's the nerve. It's the nerve house. We gotta get you to a hospital, man. Fuck, for all we know, we're all infected. Wait, you guys, let's just, let's just hold on a minute. Let's, let's just think. Okay, it's still out there, all right? If there's trees, we're not gonna be able to see it. We can't just leave. It can't withstand sunlight, so maybe, maybe we just wait until- Oh, what? You're just gonna go off the word of some fucking madman? I told you to shut up! Fuck you. Fuck all of you. You know, that's fine. Fuck Where are you going? You really have to say Where are you in the anymore? fucking case? In the footage, we see wounds that are similar to the cattle mutilations, but appear to be somewhat more violent. I believe this creature uses a sort of a venomous jet or a stream similar to that of a cobra. It must have some properties similar to a neurotoxin, but more importantly, I think this alien creature's attack methods causes the cells to break down. Now, maybe this creature didn't want to eat the humans. It wanted to protect its environment. <laughs> All right. All right. My name is Dave Freeman. I'm with the cast and crew of PM. There's something to pick us off one, one at a time. We've already lost Rob, we've lost Claire, we've lost... We've lost Matt. It's about 3 a.m. on the Joe what? Foster Ranch. <coughs> we might have been exposed to a dangerous neurotoxin. Despite needing medical attention, we can't leave this house. Okay. We haven't been able to contact the authorities and okay. have decided to stay here until dawn. Okay. This is a record. This is a record in case we don't make it. There's only four of us left. There's Eric, there's Andrea, there's Rose, and myself. If you come across this and we're gone, make sure you do something good with it, all right? See where she went. <coughs> Andrea. <coughs> Andrea, are you down here? Hey man, stay here, man. And the guys. Oh, oh, fuck. oh my god! Man. Oh my god. I think it's inside. It's inside. I think it came back from there. There it is. It's back there. Oh my god. Oh god. Is that the truck? Fuck 
fucking Andrew, man. Oh, oh shit, man. Oh my god. Do you think it's following us? Where's Aaron? He's gone. What happened back there? Are you guys okay? What? Just shut up. I'd say we got about, a, I don't know, a good hour until sunrise. Don't worry, you guys. I'll get us to take from the Air Force at 4 a.m.
Rose, we gotta go now. We gotta get you out. I can't. We gotta. I'm gonna lift this up. Yeah, I'm ready? Ready? Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bird activity is extremely high in the San Luis Valley, and for some reason, the government is allowing this extraterrestrial creature or creatures to live on the land. Maybe they are learning something from it, maybe they are using it in some unknown way. And now we have five dead, three missing, and the United States government scrambling to cover up its dirty little secrets. Echo 1, this is Echo Actual. Suspect on foot headed toward Road J. Be advised of possible CDD in the area. Copy Actual, pursuit on Road J. this up. For this footage to show up is, is definitely peculiar. Could you imagine if there were a dozen people with camera phones eye reporting the crash site at Roswell? We'd be living in a very different world. I still think the government has involvement with it. The assertion that there's any kind of military involvement regarding the San Luis Valley is, is absurd on its face. The government is lying to us. We can't get any closure. In the digital age of streaming information and government leaks, the cover-up isn't going so well for the military. So, they're calling it a hoax. I think this is a high-level hoax because we've got this network and we've got this TV show involved. That's my opinion. I sincerely wish that we were all just sitting around waiting for the PM crew to come home. I miss Dave. I just want my brother back. Why would the government allow extraterrestrials to exist in the con this? Your, your credibility is shot for this. And just, did the crew from Paranormal Mysteries discover something they weren't supposed to? Uh, I 
Uh, you know, actually, I, I, I think it would probably be better at this time that I not speculate. I, I should probably leave it at that. Tonight, there's a group digging deep investigating cattle mutilations. They're the crew from Reality TV's Paranormal Mysteries, and we want to know how they plan to solve one of Colorado's most enduring mysteries. Jake Meyer stands by live. Jake, any sign of you know who? Carla, ET phone home. <laughs> We're here in the San Luis Valley today with the crew for PM who are giving their fans an unprecedented look at the world of paranormal investigations. Known for debunking Sasquatch sightings and for communicating with the ghost of Alcatraz, the paranormal crew will go anywhere in the search for the unknown. The crew is in town for their signature three night shoot and I, along with all these fans, can't wait to see if they can solve this paranormal mystery. Live from Hooper, Colorado, I'm Jake Myers for Action News 9. If you'd like more information on this investigation, and I think we do here in the News 9 studio, you can log on to the American Learning Channel or go to our homepage and click on the Paranormal Mysteries link. If you get this file, do something with it.